Hi kids, it's Aunt TT here. I'm doing some 4th of July items. If you've watched my other videos, you've seen how we've made the banners right here and uh, the banners up there, okay? The ones on the bottom are called pendants. They're triangle shapes. And um, so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna make these like pinwheel. They're kind of like pinwheels. Um, it's another kind of decoration that uh, you can put on a stick a straw this is on a plastic straw you can maybe get a bag of straws from the Dollar Tree or something um, and what we do how we make these is we make a fan a regular fan and we make two of them and we tape the sides together okay and we tie the center together tape the sides and fold it all out to make a nice fun circle and besides the circle you can do lots of different things with this circle you can like I said you can put it on a stick or you can you know not put it on a stick and then just tie a you know a, a longer string and hang it up on the wall or use little teeny tiny thumbtacks and stick it in the wall and you can you know you can do it like this or you can do something with that center. So you can, you know, you can see through that center, which looks just fine. But maybe you might want to cover that center up, like with a star, since we're doing 4th of July. I cut that star out of paper. Now let's see here. I mean, I'll put that on there a little bit better. And I just taped it. Okay, so maybe you want to cover your center up with a star or with a, a circle with a fuzzy pom-pom thing. You might use a fuzzy pom-pom to put in the center. Who knows? Be creative, okay? That's what I'm here for, to help give you ideas on ways that you can do things and get your creative juices going so that you can, you know, think of even more ways. Now remember, we're getting ready for our country's 4th of July. That's why the flag is flying up there, okay? Because it's our country's birthday. We're getting ready to have a birthday party on the 4th of July. Let's celebrate, okay? Oh, goodness, look at this. You can even use these twirly ribbons to add a little bit more fun. Hang some twirls on them mm, so many fun ways fun things you can do to decorate your house your yard your bedroom your church uh, your car your parents car or your grandma's car ask them first okay so let's get started you need paper not just one you need two pieces of paper the same color to get a solid color pinwheel. Okay? And you need tape and or you can use a stapler, whichever one works. And you need a little do you need some string and then some other, you know, little doodad things to add to it. Plus, I'm going to show you how to add some more color by using your paint, okay? So first of all, just in case you don't remember how to make a, a fan, I'm gonna show you. And this time, we're since this paper is like typing paper, color typing paper, kind of a bluish purple. Since it's thinner than construction paper, I can put two of them together and fold them in the accordion shape at the same time. That saves time, okay? Gets the job done just as well, but saves time. So fold, fold your first edge over. Let's see, make sure you line up, line up these edges to get it going straight. And this is about finger, 
you know, fingertip length. See, I can like stick my finger under there. Okay. So crease it and then you'll turn it around and you fold it back over. Remember, it's easiest if you lay this on the table or on the floor, some flat surface. Okay? And you turn it over and you fold again. And you just keep folding over back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until you get the fan. So I'm going to lay it down on my table and do this. And while I'm folding mine, you can fold yours. And if I get mine done too quickly and you need a little bit more time, just hit the pause button, finish folding, and then come back. Another way you can do this is watch the video all the way through so you know all the steps that are needed. Then go back and watch it again and, and do it one step at a time with me. Okay? Because I'm here to teach you. To teach you fun arts and crafts projects. These are for different ages. You know, I mean... Um, grade school, junior high. Some of my art projects are a little bit tough for grade school kids. And some of them are just a little bit easy for, for junior high. Or high school. I mean, high school kids can get an idea. They look at this. Even mom and dad, you know, or grandma or aunt, they look at this and think, oh my goodness, I never thought about that. Look how great that looks. You know, these pendants, we see those on Pinterest all the time. Um, so, so adults or children, whatever, it works. Okay, I have mine completely folded, and I folded two together. So see, I'm going to pull it apart. Ta-da! I have to. Okay, now, take, your, take one fan. Now we're doing them separately. Take the one fan and fold it up. Fold it in the middle. Make sure the two ends meet up here. And then squish down that middle part. Okay? You want to get it folded in the middle to begin with so that everything gets looks nice and rounded. Okay, that's one. Pick up your other one. It doesn't matter which side you fold it because they're all going to be connected. Okay. And then fold up the other one. Make them meet at the top. Squish the bottoms together. Okay. So it can also fold out nice and round when you're ready. Okay. Now, we can do this a couple of different ways. But the way we're going to start... Hmm. The way we're going to start is to connect two of them. Two of the sides. Pull them up hold them okay now this is where you need to tape tape the back side okay tape them together or staple them mine on this is a little bit thin so I'm going to try stapling it you want to do one at the top do one closer to the bottom a little tough there. Mm. That didn't work. So I'll just get my tape. I'll pull off a, a piece of tape and go down here where these two edges meet. Put it on one side. Fold it over to the other side. Okay. Now, that leaves a little hole right here, which we want, because we're going to use that. Now, do the same thing with this one. Put the two sides together, and then um, secure them. Okay, you secure them close to the top. Let's see if that worked. Yay, that one worked really well. You can't see it, which is good. Thumbs up. We like thumbs up. Okay, and then tape. Tape it again a little bit closer down to the bottom. 
So put the tape on one side and then fold it over. Okay, now we have two fans. Well now, we're gonna put them together. To make sure that the centers stay together, we're gonna tie it with a piece of string or ribbon. I, I've been using my gold ribbon lately. I like it. Pull you off a piece of ribbon or string or yarn, whatever you have. Send it through the center. Find where the hole is in your in one of your papers. Send your your ribbon through or through that center. Hold on to it. Pick up your other one. Let's see. Make sure everything's going to match up correctly, and send it through that center. The idea is just that you get these two centers tied together. So if you find a way that works a little bit easier for you, then do it. Okay, so I'm holding it together, flipping it over. Ah, it looks more challenging than it is. It's not this difficult. Okay, so now we've got them together and then we tie it. And I have to lay it on the table to tie it. it in a knot okay there but we're still not finished right we have to connect the fan so pull the two edges together and connect them with your stapler or with your tape pull. Okay. put it on one side and then there okay that's one we still have another one so we have to connect these two sides so get your tape or your stapler again pull you off a piece put them together and put some tape on or the stapler bend it over seal it okay and then you look at it and then you say okay does it look okay I got a little gap here, so I'm going to put a little bit of tape there to fix that gap. So even if you use a stapler, I would suggest that you also have some tape nearby. Okay? There you go. That is so easy. That is so easy, you know, and if you're a little, little kid, you might need help with it. If you're junior high or high school, you got this. Who so, I don't know, you still might need help with it. That's okay, I mean, because I'm an adult. And, not, and, it, and it takes some work for me to do it, okay? So there it is, you got this nice round stick. Uh, I mean, round thing, I don't even know what we call these things. We'll just call them decorations. Fourth of July decorations. But if you want to make it out of orange or green or pink or yellow or, I don't know, some other colors, you can do that and use it for another celebration. Your birthday, um, summer, let's just celebrate summer. Grandma's birthday and your sister's birthday, mom and dad's, brothers, uncles, um, any day. Okay? Um, other holidays are coming up later on. Use it then. Okay, now, now if you want to attach a straw, you have your straw, you'll put tape on it and then tape it back in there. Okay? That easy. Now, look at this. I have a white one. This one is construction paper. Construction paper, if you watched my art class, construction paper will absorb the water and it'll bring it all in. So what we're gonna do, get your paint your, and uh, make one of these out of white construction paper, your paintbrush and your water, 
And remember, if you're around a computer, be super, super careful. Take your paintbrush, get it wet, put it in your red, okay, or your blue. Get it nice and loaded. Remember, that's one of our one of our terms. Loaded, load it up. Now let's see what happens when we dip it on here. Well, it stayed there. Maybe go this way. Maybe go around. Okay. Maybe dip down inside. Now let's get some more water on our paintbrush. Kind of looks like a firecracker look. Okay. Put, put it down in there. Get get your paintbrush wet. Oh, I'm splattering it on my face. Okay, get some more red paintbrush. Load up your paintbrush and, and lay it down in there. There. Kind of looks like me, the center of a flower. But we're going for 4th of July right now, so. Okay, so we got some red firework look. Now rinse off your paintbrush really good. Dip it in the blue. And swirl it around in your blue. Lots and lots of blue on your paintbrush. Load it up. And... We're going to go to the outer edges. We've got red in the middle. We're going to leave a little bit of white. And we're going to go to the inside. Or the outside, rather. Get some more paint. And see, I'm just touching up the edges. Getting some more paint. More water. More paint. More water. More water, more blue paint, loading up my paintbrush. I'm going to take this all the way around the edges. Kind of hard for you to see that. More paint. More paint, more water, more paint, more water. Look at that. Let's see anything I want to touch it. Look at that. So now, I didn't have, maybe I didn't have red, white, and blue paper. Maybe I just had white. Or maybe this is just exactly what I wanted to do. So I have my white one with my red, white, and blue paint. Or you can leave it white. You can have your solid colors. You can add it to these other decorations, okay? Look, look at this. We have created over a couple of days several decoration ideas that you can help add to your 4th of July birthday party, the United States of America. Don't forget to wear your red, white, and blue. And who knows, between now and then, I'll probably come up with another video to add to it. Okay? So thank you for joining Aunt TT and making our uh, 4th of July decorations. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up at the bottom. Okay? And share it with your friends. And I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot. You have a good day. Have a good summer day.